So as you guys may or may not know by now, uh, I don't stick to a certain type of content on this channel at all. <laughs> so this is about to be a very different video. But it's something that I want to do, so I'm going to do it. Yeah, I was looking around online uh, at stuff that I can't afford. I came across a product from a company that I like a lot called Composite Effects. They make those really highly detailed pullover head masks that you might have seen me wear before. I own two of them. Probably three if I can get approved for another credit card. <laughs> but on their website, they have this beanie. And by no means is this beanie expensive. I just can't afford it. And because of this quarantine hair that I'm getting, I'm st Oh my god, I look like Bozo the fucking clown. Oh cool, it's Dwight from the office if Angela left him and he ate everything in sight. But because of this, I've been wearing a lot of beanies and hats recently. Now I don't have the money for that, or any of the various ones that are all over Etsy. But you know, I want to be an edgy e-boy, so I'm gonna make one. A beanie. A horn- a horny- a horned beanie. So I might be drastically underestimating how hard this'll be, but I think I had the stuff to make it. I found this beanie in like the back of my closet that I don't even fucking wear anymore. And then I have polymer clay and enough acrylic paint to drown a Syrian child. I don't That was a weird analogy. You can leave if you want, I won't blame you. And I also have some felt and stitching supplies, as well as hot glue. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Uh, I think I'm going to start by doing the horns. So let's do a cool transition to the crafting station. Ooh. Oh my god, I knocked the fucking lens out of So this was the first process. I took some lightweight tin foil and I made like a basic horn shape cylinder thing, as you can see here. I didn't put a tip on it because I'm going to end up adding the tip with clay, but I then took some more tin foil and I copied that design over to another one so that I had the two horn shapes. Son of a bitch! So then I took my polymer clay and I started kneading it between my hands and it started hurting so I used a candle to flatten it out. Don't judge me, it worked perfectly fine and got it pretty damn flat. Then I just wrapped that piece of clay around my tin foil, and I kind of tried to make the shape and then tore off any excess that was hanging off of it, and I'll just roll that into the next horn. So then I just took my clay and I started wrapping it around and trying to get a shape that I liked. It doesn't have to be perfect because horns by nature aren't perfect, but I basically ended up getting a shape that I liked and I tried to make it as smooth as possible. That way there isn't any obvious clay lines in it from where I've patched it together. Then I just did the exact same thing for the other horn and I had two somewhat similar horns. Then I took one of my silicone tipped clay tools and just started making a, a bunch of lines throughout it to make it look like a horn. I eventually put it onto this skewer that you see here so that my fingerprints weren't messing up all of my work. But eventually I got to a point where it looked like a kind of horn texture. I repeated the exact same process for the other horns and I put them into my little oven at my package's recommended time. After they were done cooking and they cooled down, I painted both of them with a brown base coat this is not going to be seen really, but it's going to add some depth to it once we put our brighter colors on top of it. I did this for both of the horns while I listened to some comedy. I come buckets. It is absolutely revolting. Once that was done, I took my acrylic paints and I mixed together some white and just a little bit of yellow to end up making some kind of bone horn color. Once I had my paint color, I started painting over both of my horns. Now, I'm doing something called dry brushing, where you pretty much just use like a little bit of paint on your brush at a time and kind of drag it across. And I did this a bunch, kind of layering it until I got a color that I liked, where I was able to see the base coat underneath the white paint. And then I did the exact same thing to the other side. At some point, you'll see me start getting indecisive and pick up the other one and decide that it was a little too dark. So it's kind of just a back and forth until I came up with this, which is something that I I like, so I stuck with it. 
Then I wanted to finish them, so I put some Mod Podge on the top of it. This is what I use to finish a lot of my clay stuff. I know it's not the best thing to use to finish a piece, but this is what I use. And also, sorry that it's so out of frame. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. And this is what the finished horns look like once the Mod Podge dried. I think next time I'd add a little bit of red to them, but that's just me. But I took some scrap pieces of felt that I had and I cut out two circular pieces just bigger than my horns. Then I put a little bit of hot glue on the bottom of the horn and stuck it straight to the felt. Make sure if you're doing this at home, you don't do this. Ow, ow, ow. Then I just repeated the exact same step on the other horn. Then it was time to mark the beanie. What I'm doing here is stupid. I put some paint on the end of a paintbrush and I just kind of dabbed it where I thought the horn needed to go. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> Shit. Now that I've somewhat marked the beanies, I took my scissors and cut two vertical horizon? Ver, ver, I, I don't know. I cut two slits. Then I slipped my horns up through it and rotated them the correct way. Then all that's left to do is attach the horns to the beanie, and I'm doing this by putting some glue on the felt slash the base of the horn, and I'm pushing it into the beanie making sure that none of the glue runs over to the back side of the beanie. Once that first part dried, I'm flipping it over and I'm doing the sides and the back in the exact same fashion. Then I just have to repeat the exact same step for the other horn. So there you go guys, I know this was a weird type of video for this channel, but if you liked it let me know down below and I might do more craft videos, who knows. Also if you're new to this channel and you like what you see and you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell, all that shit, and I'll see you guys with the next video that I post. See ya. Ah shit. Fuck. <laughs>